let's talk about resumes for a second. There's a fine line when you say, I, pl I play with Ray Charles. And when he walked on stage and did one song and you were in the house band. Right. That said, you should put that on your resume. Why is that? I play, I played with Paul McCartney. Okay. He's my idol. I can die now. I played with Paul McCartney. I was in a, I, I play, playing at an event and it was uh, a benefit for Frank Lesser, who's a Broadway composer and MPL communications, Paul McCartney's company owned the uh, publishing to that. So they were, they're like, he's going to be here, you know? So we didn't know he was going to be there. We were just playing with like, it was an orchestra backing up like Audra McDonald and all these people and stars like that. And then at the last minute, Paul's like, I'm going to get up and sing Slow Boat to China with this orchestra. And we rehearsed it and did it. So I played one song and I played guitar like Freddie Green style. Do I say that Michael Aarons is a versatile guitarist who has played with Paul McCartney? I mean, yes and no. You have to phrase it correct. Would you would you think that worked with Paul McCartney or share the stage work, with? I didn't work with him. Share the stage with. You could say that. Performed live and or recorded with and then have a list. <laughs> I mean, share this, share the air with. <laughs> I mean, you have to just you have to pretend that you're someone reading someone's resume too. You know, how does it come across? That said, it it, it is a huge accomplishment. Shouldn't be shy. Since you do hire musicians, does it matter that somebody has a resume? And, you know, when you look at it and Clayton yeah. Craddock worked with the stylistics and Denise Williams and Mono Neon. Yeah, right. That's right. <laughs> Clayton and I did a gig with Mono Neon. David Guest, Wonderful World of Little People, whatever it was. And he, had, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he had these he had these concerts in, in Liverpool and he'd bring people over from the United States, Denise Williams stylistics i forgot who the other person was but anyway we went over there and the bass player who who recommended him what's his name jackie, jackie uh jackie clark great jackie bass clark said man you got to hear this guy he's he's gonna be the next big thing I remember you were telling me this i was like man who's this kid and he had these these glasses on he was real quiet and but man he Correct. could play his ass off he can groove and he was he was, he was great know, jackie was right he was only 14 or 13 yeah next thing you know mike sends me this video of this this guy in these glasses playing along to people on YouTube. And he's like, that's him. That's him. And, we're like, and then everyone knows who Mono Neon now, is. Now he's big. And so when you get a resume and when you're writing your resume as a drummer or a musician that's looking at this, do you recommend saying like you just alluded to before Clayton Craddock has worked with Clayton Craddock has shared the stage. Clayton Craddock has recorded with and played with. And what does it mean to you as a music coordinator looking at somebody's resume? Or do you really look at resumes? I do. I didn't always. I didn't used to listen uh, to look at resumes because I just want to know how someone plays and I want to know how they are with other people. So re recommendations are key. To me, if, if a musician that I really respect, like you, if you were like, hey, man, this drummer is killing, I just... Um, you know, I, I just played a gig with, well, you wouldn't have played a gig with them, but you know, this bass player is really killing. I just played a gig with him. And um, then I hung out and he's easy to get along with. He has a ton of experience. He's played with, uh, uh, you know, uh, the stylistics, <laughs> whatever. See, you see, it, it all matters. It all matters. But to me, the most important thing is if a musician I respect is referring someone to me or vice versa, if someone I've never heard of says, I've recently gotten into this, Yes, I play with Paul McCartney. I've done all this stuff. It could be galas. I could have just like, you know, bumped into him on the street and said I, you know, met him, whatever. It doesn't matter uh, who, what the resume says. If I click on a link and see, wow, they sound really good. Um, but maybe they're a complete maniac, you know. Um, what? Who are their reference? Oh, Clay, Clayton Craddock's a reference. I'm going to call him up, you know. And then you say, oh, man, stay away from that guy. Or, yeah, actually, I did a gig. I, you know, he, he's great. You know, see, so it all matters. It all matters. If It's really hard if you're totally unknown and new in town. And you say all those things, have no references and no way for anyone to hear you play. You know, vi video links, 
um, links to music. There's got to be a way. And with the internet, it's kind of unacceptable to not have a way for people to hear you play, you know, with all of the access there is now. For me, I have lists of people in my head that I know may or may not be on a show that I know how they, I already know I want to use them. When I started playing Broadway 22 years ago, the people I was like, oh my God, they're, they're like the Dave Spinozas and the Larry Salzmans. I started doing Broadway and came to New York because of players like that. I'm at their age, the age they were back when I, so you have players now that are coming up that are looking like to me, I don't know, or you. So that's, that's kind of like the generational thing. So the, who are those players now? Because they're the people that should be looked at and they don't know. Some of them just don't know what to do to be noticed. And their methods of trying to get noticed are way different than ours were. And people complain about their, I complain about the methods, but you have to have an open mind.